today we sit right off one of the most sought after roads in Waterfall Midrand. Behind me stands a distinguished country mansion that really does require a distinguished pet as well. This home boasts five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms and is on the market for 36.9 million rand. Today we're going to tour this home and I'm going to show you why it should be your next home. My name is Chad Riveros, this is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Come on. Coming through your double doors and stepping foot into this home, you immediately get hit by a real sense of scale. You've got this massive staircase right in front of you. They create an archway allowing you to walk into the rest of the home. On my left hand side, you have doors that open up onto your grand dining room. And on my right hand side, you get one half of your double level library. It gives you a sense of grandeur that a country home like this really does use so well. You've got wall sconces, chandeliers and in fact above this walkway on the first level you've got six chandeliers that really light this house up. I also think a country home really does need fireplaces and this home checks that box with two. One providing this waiting area with some warmth and the second providing the kitchen with warmth and it's a see-through fireplace that I'll show you earlier. But this is your waiting area. You can sit down here, enjoy a game of chess, some board games. You're flanked with two double doors that open up onto your outdoor area but you could also easily make this your lounge or even dining room area if you'd like to place in a massive dining room table. This room also leads leads off to the whole bottom area of the house. We're going to start off on the west wing where the grand dining room area is. That's also where your kitchen area is and let's take a look at that. first stop has to be your kitchen. The one theme of this home that I do like is the continued use of these face brick arches. A lot of them you get to walk through to pass from one room to the other but they've used it here to encapsulate this fireplace and it is beautiful. It really does suit the country theme of this home but it's a sleek theme and you see that here in the kitchen. Stunning white center island and it comes with some nice amenities. You've got this pull out plug point area, you've got this here, your chef sink and I love the down lighting. Three lights really lighting up this area making it a focal point of the kitchen. On your right hand side you've got a lot of open counter storage and this freestanding gas stove and oven. Just above it your extractor fan and then over counter storage. So if you're big into cooking, trust me, this home has got enough space for you. Across to the other side, that counter space continues with all open space of here, flanked by cupboards, as well as drawers and a central cupboard. Just above it, what I love is this illuminated cupboard space. You can really show off your glassware, beautiful champagne glasses, or even some wine bottles. Carrying on, we've got more counter space both on the left and the right, flanking a door that leads over to your pantry as well as the continuation of your kitchen. So if you are serving a lot of guests, you don't have to clutter this area up. It can all be done through this door, so out of sight. You've got space for a double fridge as well as a double sink and under counter storage for your dishwasher. The remainder of your under counter appliances are going to be in your laundry area that I'll point out a little bit later, but plenty of space there and that's where you're going to be doing all your cooking and cleaning. And then even more counter space continues into this area here which is your breakfast nook. You've got two separate doors that open out onto your garden, plenty of natural light and then plantation shutters so it's a perfect place for you to enjoy an intimate breakfast with your family. Now we're going to head down this hallway to the grand dining room area and see what else is hidden in this west wing. Now I'm going to quickly pass the grand dining room area to talk about what else is in this west wing. First off is your guest toilet. Walking through the double doors to your guest bathroom you'll find a very very large mirror as well as basin off to the right and then behind a door for privacy is your toilet. Beautifully thought out as well as placed very near to your grand dining room area. I think it's quite a clever addition so none of your guests need to walk through your bedrooms. 
and then rounding off the west wing is to my right hand side your laundry area and just in front of me a door to your two car garage now this home comes with four garages two of them in the west wing two of them in the east wing and i'll point out that door as well when we get to it but right now it's grand dining room time Walking into your grand dining room area, you get to see the chessboard style flooring as well as this stunning Victorian era wall set with the embossed frames on it that runs all the way around this beautiful room. We've got two sets of doors that open outwards onto a small garden area with its very own railing. Now those doors are quite unique in that they are glass doors with aluminium inserts but they also have their very own windows in it. So the top side you can open up is just a window if you don't want to open the doors. So I quite like that. And front and center has to be this gorgeous chandelier. Each of those individual pieces of glass that you see is its very own rose with lights hidden in between and that hangs above this eight seater square dining room table. The room is spacious so it allows you to do what you want with it. But I really do think it suits the name Grand Dining Room Area. Now we're going to walk all the way across to the east end and take a look at what that wing of the house has in store for us. Now through this beautiful set of pocket doors inlaid with some frosted glass, you find yourself in one half of your library area. Now there's a stunning wrought iron spiral staircase that takes you all the way up to the second half, bookshelves lining all the walls, but we'll get to that. In this downstairs area, it is perfect for a reading room. These plush leather couches and this wall of windows letting in a lot of natural light, which you need to enjoy a good book. On my left hand side we've got this classic walnut bookshelf with that ladder that I think we've seen in so many different movies so it helps you reach those higher shelves. However there's so much more of this downstairs area to explore so let's take this exit and see what else we've got here. Coming out of the library, you get to take your first clear look at the two face brick archways. This being the first, the second one being right there by the kitchen. They line up beautifully and it gives you such an incredible look of your entry hall of the house. Now, however, it's time to take a look at the west wing of the house. And down this hallway, in order of furthest to you to closest, let me talk about what we're looking at. That door all the way down there is your double garage. It's the East Wing's double garage. Just off of that double garage is a workspace. If you're a woodworker, if you just want a space to do some handyman activities, you've got a perfect dedicated space right there. And up next, what we're gonna look at is through this set of double doors, and that is your gym area. Stepping foot in your gym area, you're welcomed by a wide open space with warm wood flooring. On one wall, you've got two windows as well as a door that opens up onto your east wing courtyard with a koi pond and plenty of sunlight. The other wall, however, has a mirror from floor to ceiling, wall to wall, allowing you to practice whatever you need in this gym area. You've got plug points, TV screens, and super high ceilings, as well as two fans and down lighting. It really is one of the most well-equipped and spacious gyms we've seen so far. Up next is this right here, the guest bedroom and the only bedroom located downstairs. This bedroom has a couple of really nice features. Not only is it spacious and easy to design however you'd like it to, but it has two massive doors that open outwards onto the courtyard I mentioned earlier with a huge koi pond and three separate fountains as well as space outside for you to put tables, chairs and even some hanging chairs if you'd like to enjoy the sunlight or sunbeds if you'd like to catch a tan. It is a very sought after guest suite. It also leads right out onto its own bathroom. Coming through the second door of this bedroom you immediately are looking into this bathroom. It is Jack and Jill shared with the office space but with the way the doors align it could easily be an ensuite bathroom. 
This beautiful bathroom is bathed in sunlight with a freestanding wash basin as well as lion foot freestanding bathtub, plantation shutters, floating toilet and then walk-in shower off in the corner. Coming down the hallway, you take one right turn and you find yourself in your office space. Beautifully well equipped with a fan, air conditioning as well as its very own fireplace. It's easily an office space many of us working men and women would dream to have. One wall covered in plantation shutters and looking out onto your garden and the other wall with two doors opening out onto your patio. It easily blends in your work and play. Plenty of space here for not only tables, but another spot for you to sit down and host meetings, shelving, under counter storage. Every single box is ticked, but my favorite box has to be this here. These two doors leading onto your patio. And it is quite a spacious patio at that. Above me, there's the private balcony for the master suite and then Inside this patio, as you can see, two tables, one with an eight-seater and another one that's a six-seater bra area that is built in. And this leads all the way across to this door right over here, which is your bar area. It's such an impressive feature thought out by the owner. But one of my favorite features here has to be between these raw stone pillars is a glass structure that's been built in and it shields this area from the elements. You can open, close it, it lets in all that natural light, lets you look out, but gives you that comfort and convenience. And I think it is a very, very clever addition. But right now we're going to take a walk through these glass doors, take a look at the garden, the pool area, and of course the pool house. And while we're outside and you get to take in the beautiful greenery of the grounds and this incredibly massive pool, let me give you a couple of facts about this house. The house has got 1,450 square meters under roof while the whole stand is 8,000 square meters. It comes with a solar powered borehole which means you're completely off of council water as well as inverters which means you don't need to worry about any electricity shortages. You also have a sprinkler system that is controlled by the estate with water that comes in from the river. So when we talk about cost saving, this house has to be number one. And the biggest cost you're going to save is buying into waterfall means there are no transfer duties. And on a house such as this, that really does come in as the biggest bonus. You've also got a very, very beautiful pool area flanked with glass doors as well as glass windows looking onto this incredible house that you can utilize as you see fit. But now it is back inside the house to my favorite room, which is the bar area. And here I am easily in my favorite room of any house and that is the bar area. As you can see, easy access both to your patio as well as to your kitchen. But this bar area is really well equipped. We've got face brick all the way around on all four walls. But then we've got plantation shutters and two arched windows looking out onto the greenery that is your garden. This inbuilt walnut bar provides center stage for where you'll be entertaining your guests. But there's a lot of utility in this as well. We've got under counter storage, plug points for your fridge, and then above counter storage with some cabinetry for your glassware plug points for your TV as well as DSTV and then we've got these built-in wine shelves for you to display your favorite collections with some stunning down lighting. We've also got an air con so none of the rooms in this house become too stuffy. There is also central air conditioning so you don't need to worry about it in the bedrooms. Now however it is time to finally explore those bedrooms so come with me as we head upstairs.
Upon arriving at the top of the staircase, there's a couple of features here that we get to appreciate that I mentioned right at the beginning of the video. First and foremost are these stunning chandeliers that are placed throughout this home, really bring a sense of warmth and definitely grandeur to this country home. And number two has to be the Juliet balconies on the left and right hand side. Both of them, the first one flanks your library, the second one flanks your pajama lounge. And we're going to start off on the east wing, so follow me and let's take a look at what the upstairs library area looks like. The second half of the upstairs library continues that comfort and grandeur that we saw down below. Nearly every single wall is covered in bookshelves with books from floor to ceiling. There's places for you to sit down and read and relax as well as windows both on the east side as well as the south side that let in natural light. But what I like the most about this area isn't the wraparound balcony feel or even that Juliet balcony, but you really get to appreciate this wrought iron spiral stair case that leads down from your reading area up to this upstairs area absolutely beautiful and coming in here you come through these two doors that open outwards with that inset frosting now however it is time to look at the bedrooms we've got one to my right and one right in front of me let's start here we're going to head off there and then all the way across to the master suite the first bedroom we come to as soon as you walk in we've left the tiles behind for this beautiful wood flooring on my left hand side is all your cupboard space and what i do like is we've got some frosted glass here breaking up the monotony of normal cupboards and on my right hand side we've got this almost office slash study nook in built chair over there with this separating pillar that i think is quite nice but Talking about really nice design elements, my favorite feature has to be this over here. Two separate windows designed exclusively for this room. They look absolutely beautiful and I think it's something we've never seen before. Actually, we have never seen this before on the show. I really like it. It is such a cool personal addition. The room comes with aircon as well as a fan. It is very spacious as you can see. Has its own Juliet balcony looking down onto that koi pond when we spoke about the courtyard down below next to the gym and your guest bedroom. And then you've also got all this tree space that you get to enjoy being here in waterfall. But last but not least, the room does come with its very own ensuite bathroom. And we're looking at that next. Stepping into your ensuite bathroom, you'll see your freestanding wash basin with under counter storage. A high backed bathtub takes almost center stage, but you also do have a walk in shower and a floating toilet, as well as, last but not least, and coming in clutch, I'm sure, every winter day, a heated towel rack. Your next bedroom is more spacious. However, it does have its very own theme to it. You've got again those frosted glass art windows, but you've also got two Juliet balconies that look out onto your back garden. You get to appreciate all that greenery and landscaping from the best vantage point in the house. I've also been told that you get some of the nicest sunsets since this home is north facing. This home comes equipped with both a fan as well as air conditioning and closet space in a walk-in closet area with cupboards on both the right and left hand side. And let's not forget, it also does have its very own ensuite bathroom, again equipped with a freestanding bathtub, walk-in shower, single vanity with under counter storage, that heated towel rack and toilet tucked away neatly. The whole bedroom and bathroom are bathed beautifully in tons of sunlight. On the west wing of the house, you've got this instead of another bedroom. And this is your pajama lounge. In terms of architecture, it's got not one, not two, but four separate Juliet balconies, beautifully equipped with a fan as well as air conditioning and all the space, not only for an L-shaped couch, but for different assortments or arrangements of furniture so you can make your own bubble of comfort upstairs. I mean, this is where we're gonna be sitting and relaxing with family, enjoying movies, but no movie is ever complete without snacks. And that's where this, I think, is such a beautiful addition. You've got counter space, as well as under counter storage space, a chef sink, and then plug points for a variety of different appliances that you might want. 
Also, I love that we see a second one of those arches we were talking about downstairs with the exposed brick. All of it's sealed off so you don't need to worry about any dirt or any kind of flaking. But right next to this pajama lounge is the master suite, the room we've all been waiting for and we headed there next. So come with me. And here we are, finally the room we've all been waiting for, the master suite. A exceptionally spacious room that comes with a couple of key features we've never seen before. But let me list off the main one. We've got the stunning wood flooring, air conditioning, fan overhead, but this time your very own fireplace with a hint of that brick carrying on the design theme of this home. A four poster bed fits very comfortably and we've got two Juliet balconies right in front of me looking down onto the greenery and architecture of the house. And trust me, it right now is five minutes past five and the sunset is absolutely incredible. Off to my left, we've got your walk-in closet as well as your master bathroom. But something we've never seen before is this type of balcony. It is a private balcony dedicated just to the master suite. And as you can see, we're outdoors with an incredible view of the pool as well as the pool house, the grounds, and all the way across Waterfall City. But we're quite safely enclosed in this ceiling and the archways here. You get a lot of that natural light, but not too much exposure to the elements. I think in terms of all the balconies we've seen, balconies like this will probably be used most often because it's not too cold out here, even though we are in the heart of winter. And again, you're protected from the rain. We've got a set of staircases just in the corner of this balcony that head up to some storage. And then of course, we've got that really cool frosted glass chandelier hanging front and center. Now, however, if we go back inside, we get to talk about your walk-in closet and your ensuite bathroom, both of them, which are very, very comfortable to say the least. This walk-in closet, really does live up to its name. Every single wall covered in closet space. I love that we've got one separate wall dedicated to a mirror so you can take a look at yourself getting dressed. And then we've also got these glass shelves with a mirror backing, allowing you to display some of your favorite accessories. Letting in some natural light is not one, but two skylights. And this walk-in closet comes with something special. Yes, it's very own Juliet balcony, but that balcony is on the other side of your very own walk-in office space. So if you don't want to venture all the way downstairs to work in your office, you can do it right here. I think it is quite a cool inclusion. And then this would probably be the perfect time to mention that the whole house is covered in underfloor heating. Now it's time to take a look at that master suite. You know the bathroom is something special when you need to walk through a set of double doors to get into it. We've got a walk-in shower with its very own skylight and this stunning jacuzzi bath behind me, square shaped, flanked with one of those Juliet balconies. Plenty of natural light in here because of the frosted glass windows providing that privacy. And then two walls have got mirrors on them so you'll have no trouble making sure you're dressed and set up for even the most elegance of nights. Then we've got double vanities, under counter storage, and behind a private door, we've got your toilet as well as bidet. And I think that does sum up one of the nicest bathrooms in a country home we've ever had on the show. Now, however, it's time to head downstairs so we can talk about how you will become this home's next owner. Come with me. Here we are back downstairs and we have seen so many spectacular features of this house from fully equipped kitchens to double fireplaces, spiral staircases and your very own private library. Now if you'd like to purchase this home what I'd like you to do is contact Vicky Lee and Winnie from Live Realty. You'll find a link to the listing where you can book your very own private viewing or even put forward an offer. Remember, you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za and while you're online, please like, share and subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram while we showcase some of South Africa's most unique, interesting and exclusive homes. From myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, thank you so much and we'll see you next Friday as we tour something else spectacular. Goodbye.